After a very long time, I decided that I should make another video. Sadly, I do not really have ideas, so I filmed the only thing I had in my mind. Today, I am going to reduce nitrate to nitrite. In some countries, sodium nitrite is available, but in others you can't really buy it, so I thought about reducing the nitrate. There are videos on YouTube, but all these procedures didn't really seem to work. To start with, we only need three chemicals. Potassium nitrate, magnesium turnings, and acetic acid. The idea with this experiment is to attack the nitrate ion with hydrogen radicals. These are formed before the bimolecular hydrogen, which is normally a product of the reaction, is formed, it's also called hydrogen in nascent state. This nascent hydrogen is much more reactive than normal hydrogen. First, we prepare a solution of potassium nitrate in water. We dissolve 10 grams of this in about 50 milliliters of water. Next, we add 5 grams of magnesium turnings to an Erlenmeyer flask. Add the nitrate solution to the magnesium. The last step is to add the acetic acid to the reaction. It's very important to use acetic acid, other acids might be too strong and will decompose the nitrite product. To an addition funnel, I add 163 grams of 25% acetic acid. In this reaction, I use a 2 molar excess of magnesium and acid to make sure that all the nitrate reacts. Slowly add the acetic acid to the reaction. It's also important to use strong stirring to make sure that everything reacts well. I added the acid dropwise, this took about one hour. This might be slower than necessary, but that's okay. As you can see, the reaction gets quite cloudy due to the hydrogen gas which is formed in the reaction between magnesium and acetic acid. After some time, the reaction became quite warm and there were yellow fumes of nitrogen oxides so I used an ice bath to cool it down. When all the acetic acid is mixed in, you should stir it for another 15 minutes. The cloudiness should slowly fade away as the acetic acid is used up. And there we have our nitrite solution. Sadly, it is very contaminated with magnesium acetate and I also do not know how to get rid of it, but for most reactions the acetate isn't a big problem. Of course I tested if I really got nitrite. Here you see the result of a nitrite test which was used on the nitrate solution. As you can see by the yellow color, there is no nitrite in here. This orange-red solution is the result from a nitrite test from our product solution. The concentration of nitrite is very high in here. Do you have any ideas how to get rid of the magnesium acetate? Let me know in the comments. Keep doing chemistry.